So I want to take a quick look at building an, a roadway cross-section, an, an assembly. Um, I'm going to come in here. I'm just going to come up to Corridors, Create Assembly. I'm going to name this. So I could name it my you know, typical 56-foot right away or however I wanted to name it. Um, set the standard codes that you want and, the, and standard assembly styles. Hit OK. And we're just going to place this somewhere right there. Okay, so it gives us that uh, red line, our assembly marker, which is you know the basis for our base lines, our horizontal, our vertical. Um, I'm going to come to my tool palettes, and you know if you're not familiar with them, there are lots of options, of, you know tons of options for doing things. I'm just going to come into lanes. I'm going to do lane outside super. So I'm going to pick my lane outside super, and I'm going to look at my properties. So in here, before I even place it, I can put my widths here. So if I have Let's say an 18 foot width, a default slope, uh, maybe I have three inches and I can either you know do the math 0.25 or I can come in here and I can just type in uh, let's say seven inches and it's going to convert it to me. And let's go 13 inches and it converts that um, for me simply and easily. So I also have insertion points whether it's the crown, edge of way, um, different things in there. So you know, once I've set it up, and I'm just going to build the right side. And once I've set it up to build, um, to place my asphalt, I can just come in here. Just going to pick that red line. I'm just going to place it on the right side. Okay, so I've set my asphalt. I now have curb and gutter I need to place. So I'm going to come into my tool palettes, go to curbs, and, you know, again, multiple options. I'm going to choose just this urban curb gutter general. Uh, one quick tip here is if I choose that and I look at the properties, I have all these dimensions, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I don't know what those mean. They, they mean nothing to me. It's just, uh, you know, what is it? One quick way to look at that is if I come back into my tool palettes and right-click on that sub-assembly and go to Help, it's going to bring up the Help menu based on that individual assembly, sub-assembly, and it's going to tell me A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So if you don't know what those dimensions are, right-click on it, go to Help, and it's going to tell you where that goes. Okay. So I'm going to choose my curb, my urban curb gutter general. I'm going to come in here to where I want it to be attached to. I'm going to pick the circle. If I don't pick the circle and I just pick, you know, attach it to this object, it's going to attach it there. You know, so you don't want to do that. You want to zoom in and actually attach it to that code that you want. I'm going to add in a sidewalk. So I'm just going to go urban sidewalk. And on this sidewalk, we have an inside boulevard width. So, you know, a landscape track. I'm just going to go six feet. Sidewalk width an outside boulevard width, so you know, behind the, behind the walk, uh, maybe you have another landscape track or something to the right of it. I'm just going to say two feet. Okay. And I can give it a depth, I can give it a slope, I can, you know, type in six inches. Then I'm just going to go place that. And then, you know, to end that, I can either come in here and use, you know, one of the numerous daylight options. Um, I can leave it as it is right now, I can just throw in a daylight option. Uh, I'm not going to get into the daylight details because there's a lot of details to them. But I'm just going to pick one and place it on there. You know, so if it's a symmetrical road, I don't have to build both sides. What I can do is just window, do a crossing window, and choose the objects I want on the other side. And up here I have a mirror sub-assembly, so I can right-click, go to mirror, and just pick that red line, and it's going to mirror it over there. So it's a better way to just quickly and easily do that. Um, if it's a typical section, if it's not a typical section, uh, you can you know delete these. Maybe this side doesn't have curb and gutter, and if you delete things, it's gonna put that you know just, just moving things. Um, I can copy this down, so I can copy this whole sub assembly. And if I have a different road where it has no sidewalk on the left side or something, I can make those changes. So you know building half of it and then going from there to me is a kind of a quick and easy uh, way of creating that uh, those assemblies to use in our corridor.